Andrew here from Sea Run Fly and Tackle. I'm going to show you guys a quick and effective way to rig a float fishing setup for trout. This is perfect for lakes and rivers. First I'm going to start by putting bobber stoppers on the line. It's really easy to do. I'm going to take my main line coming from my fishing reel. I'm going to feed it through the little wire loop. I'm going to grab two bobber stoppers and I'm going to feed them directly on to that main line. Okay, I can slide the bobber stoppers up the line easily without damaging it. I do have a kink in the line where the bobber stoppers went on, so I'm just going to get my scissors. I'll cut that. I want to get rid of any damaged line. Next, I'm going to take a little plastic bead. Now the plastic bead is going to go again right on the main line. Right there, and that just acts as a little bumper so the bobber stoppers don't get jammed inside of the float. I'll show you why we do that in a minute. Next, I'm going to take my float. This is a sliding float. I'm going to take the main line, feed it right through the sliding float till it comes out the other end. And now I can grab this float with the bead, which is the bumper, and the bobber stoppers, and I can freely, with a bit of force, pull it up the line, or again bring the bobber stoppers down the line if I need to. Now we need to get weight on the line. I'm going to use a little egg sinker. This egg sinker, the weight is matched to the float. I'm going to slide the main line through the egg sinker. And just run that to the float for now. And then I want a bumper. I'm going to use a, a rubber buzz bomb bumper. I'm going to slide the main line through that. And that'll just protect the weight from the knot. I'm going to tie a knot onto a barrel swivel right now. And I'm going to use an improved clinch knot where I just go through the eye of the barrel swivel, make a loop, wrap the main line five times and put it through the loop and I make a secondary loop and then we go through that again. That's a good strong fishing knot you can tie any hook or swivel on with. We have a tag end. I'm going to trim that down but I like to leave a little bit of a tag still just in case there's any stretch in the line if we get a big trout on. That's reassurance it's not going to break. Now I have a pre-tied leader line just going to give that a little bit of a stretch, make sure there's no kinks in it. And I'm going to take that and again I'm going to use an improved clinch knot. We're going to tie that on the other end of the barrel swivel. So we go around five times. Through the loop. Through the loop again. Just pull tight on that, that'll lock in place. Trim our tag end down but we'll leave a little bit there just for reassurance. It's good and strong. And let's put some bait on here. And I went with a Berkeley Power Bait Trout Worm. These things are super effective. I'm just going to take the hook. I'm just going to slide the point of the hook right through the middle of the worm. And then that way I can dangle and there's lots of, lots of wiggle when it's in the water. And the trout love these. And that setup is super easy to use. And now, here's how it looks. Show you guys completely rigged. So we have our leader line with our hook and bait, barrel swivel. We have a, a bumper to protect the weight from crashing into the knot. And then we have our float, the plastic bead bumper, and the two bobber stoppers. Now, if I want to adjust my float depth, all I got to do is grab the float and I can pull up. What happens is wherever these bobber stoppers end up is how deep we're going to fish. From our bobber stoppers to our barrel swivel, that's called float depth. And right now where it's sitting, I'd have about a foot and a half of float depth. If I want more, I can slide that up further. So this is a sliding float setup. I like this style. It's really easy to cast. When I reel in, my float sits right above my weight, so I'm not casting a big long float depth. My float's not stuck permanently up my line. This makes it easier to cast, and then when it hits the water, the weight starts to sink. That's how we gain our float depth, because the sliding float will slide right up to the top of the bobber stopper. I'll let that just sit out in the water and bob around with our power bait worm, and hopefully a big trout will come and find it. The float gets pulled under. Pull back on the rod, set the hook, and hopefully you reel in the big one.